Although the Nissan Skyline GTRs have existed as far back as 1969, they would vanish after 1973. However, in 1989, the Nissan Skyline GTR would return. The R32 featured all-wheel drive and a twin-turbo RB26 engine with 276 horsepower. This trend would continue throughout the 90s for the Skyline GTR. The R32 was succeeded by the R33. Despite the new body and interior, the R33 used the same exact RB26 engine as the R32. The R34 continued using an RP26 engine but now had a slightly shorter body compared to the R33. Also the interior featured an LCD display which was uncommon for the times. The Nissan Skyline would finally make its way to America, however, the GTR versions would disappear once again. Called the Skyline in Japan, but the Infiniti G35 in America, the V35 actually had more in common with the 350Z. Both were based on the Nissan FM platform and used the same 300 horsepower VQ35 DE engine. The Infiniti G37 featured an upgraded 330 horsepower VQ37 VHR engine. This would be the last two door to bear the Skyline name. New Skylines are still sold in Japan but only as sedans. However, the GTR name would live on. Now an entirely separate entity from Skylines, the GTR is built on its own platform dubbed the Premium Midship Platform. Current GTRs feature a 565 horsepower VR38 DETT engine and a design inspired by 90 Skylines. Thanks for checking out my video. If you have some time, check out my animated series, Adrenaline Street Racing, which features an S14 with a Skyline RB26 engine. Also, subscribe. In the future, I'm gonna do a video about the history of the Mitsubishi Lancer evolution.